Murdoch and his lady, the doll, were racing to catch the last plane out. Destination? Safety. Suddenly, the Mickey someone slipped Murdoch began to drag him under. The last thing he saw was Harry the Blade carry his lady, the doll, toward a waiting DC-3. And this was bad news. Not only was Murdoch in love with her, she was holding his first class upgrade. Now he'd have to fly coach. If he ever woke up. Geography test today, you have to get up. Oh, Mom. Oh, you smell so good. Let's go to bed. Ben, you're a sick boy. Mm. How's the writing going? Mm, okay. I think DC3 has a dash in hey, it. Hey, don't read that. Oh, come on. When do I get to read it? I've only seen a word here and a word there. Which one? I'm sorry, Laura. You, you know I don't want you to read it until it's finished. Come on, I can't wait. I don't care if it's not done. How would you feel if somebody tried to have a sneak preview of your work before it was finished? I would be flattered. And I'll prove it to you. I happen to have a Laura's Cornucopia special I brought over for you. I was planning to cook it here, but because I care about you and your feelings, it would make me very happy if you would drink this vegetable casserole. Uh, Laura? I'm not drinking the casserole, and you're not reading my book until it's finished. Oh, I'm so excited. Ben's going to finish his book today. I'm going to throw him a surprise party. That's what I want to do. Ooh, I like surprises. Can I come? Jane, would I throw a party without inviting you? <laughs> you have a clean uniform? <laughs> well, I see. That's all I am to you is the help. Oh. <laughs> Not what I would say you are, no. Thank you, Laura. So, uh, who's coming to uh, Ben's party? I think I'll keep it small. I'll just Richard and Linda. You're not going to invite Ben? <laughs> and Ben. I hope he brings his book. I want to read it. Oh, I don't know, Jane. Writers are very touchy about who they let read their work in the early stages. It's a very delicate process of trial and error, self-examination, and creative thought. Won't let you read it, huh? <laughs> okay, Rube, this is it. The end of death in the fast lane. Another great Zack Murdoch mystery. Murdoch was standing on the corner of heartbreak and Maine. Even the cabs were passing by, just like life had, ever since the doll went down in the DC-3 over the Sierras. She was the only woman he'd ever met who made him want to pull out of the fast lane and walk down the aisle. He'd never forget her, her warm smile, her tender kiss, and her crazy sister Joan who called him every ten minutes from the home. And now he was heading for the Sierras. The cab fare would be enormous, but it was worth it. You see, they never found the doll's body. And he wasn't giving up. He was going to marry her, dead or alive. over for dinner. I brought some veal marsala in case we have trouble with what you're serving. <laughs> Thank you. That was very what a charming, Lost. I really admire people like you for giving this neighborhood a chance. Richard, you did activate the car alarm, did you? Of course. Can I get you something to drink? Perrier. Perrier. With, with a, a twist, twist of lemon. lemon. Uh, Jane, you remember Richard and Linda Phillips? <laughs> sure, are they coming tonight? Jane, this is Richard and Linda. I guess I don't remember them. You, on the other hand, are... 
unforgettable. Want to see my flatten baby collection? Absolutely not. They're really great. I made them myself. They're flattened my sounds and booties and real human hair. Those teeth are damn lifelike. They're my baby teeth. <laughs> Laura, would you put a splash of scotch in that perioti? <laughs> oh, okay, everyone. Ben's gonna be here any minute. Now, uh, the doorbell rings. Linda, you hide in the kitchen. Richard, hide, hide behind the couch. And, uh, Jane, hide in the closet. Ben, you hide in the bathroom. <laughs> ben! You're here! I guess I should have knocked, huh? Surprise! Have a drink before little sister shows you her art collection. <laughs> well, I guess you figured it out. We're all here to celebrate you finishing your book. Congratulations. Oh, Laura, this is great. Thank you. I'm honored and touched and deeply in lust with you. Surprise was partly my idea, too. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. You're welcome. Rich. Linda, I'm so glad you could be here. Linda, isn't tonight the night that Women Without Children meets? I'm quitting the group. Two more members got pregnant. Well, I'm glad all of you could make it. Tonight's a very special night for Ben. He finished his book, and I can't wait to read it. Did you bring it with you? Uh, no, Reuben's proofreading. Oh, okay. I'll come over tonight after dinner and read it there. Oh, you don't want to do that. It's a mess. Why don't you wait until it's all neat and tidy and in a dust cover and reviewed and out for a couple of years? Ben, I'm beginning to get the feeling that you don't want me to read your book. I say you withhold sex until he gives you the book. Take it from one who knows, Benbo. They can hold out a lot longer than we can. <laughs> Laura, it isn't that I don't want you to read the book. It's just that uh, there's a time for reading and a time for eating. And this is the time for eating. Nice dodge. <laughs> and it rhymed. You know, if you withhold sex and food, they have nothing to live for. Laura, I don't want to spoil the party. Can't we just talk about this later when we're alone? You're right. This is not the time or the place to discuss our little problem. Honey, I say you settle this thing right here and now. <laughs> Linda, if he doesn't want to give her the damn book, he shouldn't have to. Richard, that remark is going to cost you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I need to know. Uh, am I serving food, or are all of you holding out tonight? You're serving food. And we are definitely holding out. <laughs> Would you put those away? Jane, will you keep it down, please? What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, Laura. I don't know what got into me. Can you believe that guy? I make a great dinner. I invite him over here. I entertain his friends. And he gives me that song and dance about not reading the book. Yeah, Richard's really got a lot of nerve. Not Richard, Ben. Yeah, Ben's really got a lot of nerve. I can't believe it. I've actually worn a shower cap in front of that man, and he won't let me read his book. Maybe that's why. <laughs> the thing that really makes me mad is that he led me on all this time. He kept promising me that I could read the book when it was done. He never had any intention of letting me read it. Well, I don't know why you're making such a big deal out of this. I mean, it's not so horrible. So your boyfriend won't let you read his book. The thing he slaved over poured his heart into, dedicated every waking moment to. The one single most important thing in his life, and he won't even let you have a peek. <laughs> Here, sis, slam one on me. <laughs> don't tempt me, Jane. <laughs> Laura, are you going to stop seeing Ben now? I don't want to stop seeing him. I'm just confused about this book thing. Well, maybe he thinks you wouldn't like it. Ben knows me well enough to understand that if by some chance I didn't like the book, it wouldn't affect our relationship in the least. So you'd lie, huh? No, I'd tell him the truth. In my own words, in my own time, in an anonymous note. Laura, if there's one thing I've learned living with you, it's that some people have very strange reasons for not letting other people do things. 
<laughs> well, I know I have good reasons for not letting you do certain things. Maybe Ben has a good reason. Maybe I have to respect his feelings if I want to go on seeing him. Well, maybe you both just got to learn to loosen up. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> Oh, Linda. <laughs> Linda, I asked you not to wear the fur coat to bed. <laughs> yeah? Where am I? Where? Oh, my God. Oh, 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 I'm sleeping on Naga Hide. <laughs> With a dog. Oh, in a rotten neighborhood, this is going to be a lousy day. Oh. I'm coming. Uh. Hey. Uh. Richard, what are you doing here? What, what am I doing here? Well, it all started with your little soiree last night. On the way home, Linda and I were discussing this book situation, and she decided not only to withhold sex from me, but also the house in which we have it. I don't want you to feel guilty, but please don't ever invite us over to your place again. Believe me, Richard, I'm sorry. I feel this awful about the way things went last night. Where's Ben? Uh, I need to talk to him. Uh, I, 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 he's not here. Uh, he woke me up a couple hours ago, mumbled something about going to the library. The next thing I knew, I was wearing the dog. <laughs> What's he doing at the library? I think he needed to do some last-minute fact-checking on the book, which, by the way, I read last night, and it is sensational. Wait a minute. He let you read the book? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh. I I'm, I'm so sorry, Laura. That, that was so insensitive of me to tell you that. Boy, it was good, though. It's in a lot better shape than his first one was at this stage. Which branch? Ben Coleman, where the hell are you? <laughs> Writing another book that I can't read, Ben? Laura. Cut the sweet talk, Ben. I'm angry. Laura, let's go. I don't think the library is the place to have this conversation, okay? Oh, of course you don't want me in a library. There are books in a library. You don't want me around any books. <laughs> Not like Richard, who can read whatever book he wants, including yours. Well, I can explain that. Go ahead. Richard is my oldest friend. We went to college together. We have a lot of history. He's my pal, my buddy. And he's practically illiterate. I don't care what he thinks. <laughs> Do you care what I think? Yes, very much. That's the point. Ben, I don't understand. I don't want to hurt you. But I can't show you the book now. It's too personal, and I'm not ready to share it. I thought I was, but I'm not. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, too. Because I have a few personal things that I don't want to share with you. Like what? Like me! Like <laughs> me! 